this is teacher Eva, your science teacher for today. Today we're going to learn about the different laboratory tools and their uses. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Here are some of the common laboratory tools and their uses. Tools for observing. Microscope. It is used to see very small objects that naked eyes cannot see. Magnifying glass or hand lens. It is used to magnify an object to appear big. Telescope. It is used to magnify images of objects in the sky billions of miles away from us so that we learn more about them. Tools for measuring Weighing scale, spring balance, platform balance, and others. These tools are used to measure the mass of an object. Mass may be expressed in units, milligrams, grams, or kilograms. Ruler, tape measure, and meter stick. These tools are used to measure the length of objects. Length may be measured in units, millimeters, centimeters, meter, and kilometers. Graduated cylinder, beaker, flask, measuring spoons, medicine dropper, and measuring cup. These tools are used to measure the volume of liquid. Volume may be measured in units, milliliters, and liters. Laboratory thermometer, wall thermometer, and digital thermometer. These tools are used to measure temperature of an object. Temperature may be measured in degrees Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. Stopwatch. It is used to measure time. Here are some tools for heating. Test tube, test tube holder, wire gauze, and alcohol lamp. These tools are used for heating. A test tube is used for storing and mixing small amounts of chemicals. This can also be used for heating. Test tube holder. It is used to hold the test tube while heating. Wire gauze is used to spread flame out for more even heating. Alcohol lamp. An alcohol lamp is used for heating, sterilization, and combustion in a laboratory. Here are some tools for mixing, separating, and filtering. Funnel. It is used to transfer liquid to smaller, narrow-necked container to prevent spilling. Stirring rod. It is used to mix substances to spread evenly. Lastly, here are some examples of the laboratory tools that are necessary while working in the laboratory. Goggles. They protect our eyes from broken glass, chemicals, and flames. And finally, we have the laboratory aprons. They protect clothes from chemicals. So guys, if you want to learn more in science with Teacher Eva, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to keep you guys updated.